So she, she lost three sons. She was working in Nairobi as she worked in a company and then she went to be a maid for some rich guy there. Then her son-in-law, she has one daughter. The son-in-law said, Mama, you just go home. You cannot be working as we work. Just go home and I'll take care of you. Unfortunately, the son-in-law who uh, you know, stopped her from working died. Then she had four sons. They died. Now he, she has just one son, the one we were talking with in the introduction video. And she says, my life has been misery and nothing else. These are called the stories of life, the life stories. And we love listening to them because they speak to our souls. When we hear people's stories, somehow we can, we can relate because the human story is more or less the same. We have one story as human beings, regardless of our socioeconomic status, regardless of our nationality. We have the same story and it is the story of suffering. <laughs> there is no story of joy. That I will just write about the good things I've had, the blessedness that I have enjoyed in life. No, every time you hear somebody telling you that they want to share their story, be ready to listen to their pains, to walk through their heartbreaks. And that is the same throughout the globe and wherever you meet a man or woman who has lived long enough in the body this body of clay but they they tell you that they have had no challenges it's just stop them from wasting your time because that's their story will be fake the human story is the same. It's the story of struggles. Struggle upon struggle upon struggle. And if there is any victories that were recorded, they came out of those struggles. It has never been easy. And it was never meant to be easy. We are born down here. The moment we fall down and we start using the oxygen, the moment we begin using our lungs, the first impulse, first action is to cry. A child begins to cry because that child has been ejected forcibly from the comfort of the womb, the mother's womb. And they have joined this, this strange hemisphere. So they cry because it's not comfortable here. And that cry continues throughout the days of their lives in mortality. And therefore, when somebody says a cry for freedom, that is a lifelong cry. We all cry for freedom. Even the rich cry for freedom. The poor, they cry for freedom. Everybody, every day cries. The cry of freedom is def deafening. It's a deafening cry. 
and it never stops. And when you listen and listen very carefully, you will hear that cry. The birds, they'll be crying. We say they are singing. But is it really singing or is it a cry? And we hear the cricket, the sound of a cricket. Is it a sound of joy? I saw a monkey hacky, hacky, you know, kissing somebody. And I knew that monkey doesn't know that she's kissing that, that man. She's okay, of course, she's doing it, but that is not kissing. Maybe she's just testing of the salt of, of his sweat. And it tastes good, maybe. So to an outsider who has been seeing human beings kiss, they say, oh, that monkey was kissing that man. But it's to the monkey, it's not a kiss. And the monkey could be saying, what is kissable here? When you took me out of the wild and brought me to this strange place, you think I'll kiss you from your house? Maybe if you came to the forest where I belong. Um, are they two? Um, okay. Check. Um, there is there is some black thing there, Professor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see the black. And Professor was asking me, why can't you talk about that black? The black matter. And that black matter, the black matter that you can see there, that is the intestines and the blood. Remember the big round thing is the egg sac. And the blackness we see there, that is the that is the intestines so it consists the blood that was sucked from the host that's why it's not just white all through it has some black in inside the big stomach you can see the mouth that little thing is the is the mouth and then been after the mouth we have that big egg sac but it has the black inside which is the intestines that is the morphology. I'll continue talking about the morphology of the jigger. And I think we will get bigger jiggers where we can really study the structure of the jigger. Okay. Press and there we Catacaracas <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ai, a raconinha se vende isso. Maruli! Mas é ali que a Nara, não é ali que a Nara sai, não. Eu gosto de ganhar o rango, o molinho de doce da Gaji Vida. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Apa nak ingat nama aku Angga Ki? Ingat nama aku ada sorry orang. Apa kau nak kita ukur kau macam engkeri? Ukur kau nak kita nyawa saya? Ya. Ini yang itu.